Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm really excited about because this is the drawing that I've done for the Secret Santa that we did amongst ourselves at the YouTube Artist Collective. So I'm really, really excited to show you the drawing that I did. So for the Secret Santa, I got Monique Rene and Monique is an amazing artist here on YouTube. So she does a lot of work with watercolours and what I love about her work is that it always looks really delicate and really pretty. So make sure you go and subscribe and check out her channel after you watch this video. Okay, so what we got to do was we we got to write a wish list for each other of what we wanted for our secret Santa and what Monique really wanted was she wanted a drawing doing of one of her original characters from the novel that she's writing. So I picked the character called Hayley which is a girl that works in a coffee shop and if you want to know more about this character then make sure you go and check out Monique's channel because she has a video explaining all about what this character is and all about the novel that she's writing. So I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and check out that. And also, Monique is going to be doing an unboxing video of this drawing, so if you really want to see her reaction to it, which I'm really excited about, then make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on that as well. Okay, so today's piece I am doing in the watercolours by Winsor & Newton, and they're the professional range, and I'm also using Caran d'Ache Luminance colour pencils. And I decided to pick this character because I was really excited to do her pink, beautiful hair. And also, because she's a coffee girl, I had this kind of idea of putting like a coffee mug on the end of the necklace on her neck. And I thought that would be really cute. So I decided to go for this character over the other one because of those reasons. And I've never really done pink hair before. So I thought it would be really fun to have a go at doing that. So the first thing that I did was I applied the watercolours to the background to create this faded out blue background and I just blocked in the hair with a nice pink colour. And then I go in with the Caran d'Ache Luminance colour pencils and I'm first starting on the eyes. So I always start with a black colour and I use that to do the outline and then outline the pupils and stuff like that before I go in and fill the white of the eye with a lot of greys. It's really important that when you're doing the whites of the eyes that you don't actually just do white. You need to have a lot of greys in there and also some like pink kind of tones as well. And then I go in and do her beautiful blue eyes. When I was doing this character, I tried to keep a lot of the features the same as in Monique's drawing. So in her drawing, there was big blue eyes and obviously the pink hair and she had ear stretchers and like no studs and a stud just above her lips. So I tried to keep as much of the original character's features as possible. So next I started to work on the skin tones and what I really love about this paper, so I'm using the Archer's Hot Press watercolour paper because it works really well with the watercolours and also with the colour pencils as well. So what I really like about the paper is that I can be quite messy when I lay down the skin tones. As you can see it's really really like messy and it's not smooth but then I can go and add the white colour pencil and it smooths out so much and it always amazes me how much it smooths it out after it looks this rough. So it's because this paper is really thick and it's got quite a lot of tooth that it takes a lot of coloured pencil layers so you can just add a lot of coloured pencil on top and even once I've smoothed it all out I can still glaze other colours over and keep adding coloured pencils over the top so even if I go wrong I know I can fix it because the paper takes so much coloured pencil. So that's why I really really like it and it's also amazing with watercolours because even if you add quite a lot of water it doesn't buckle the paper at all. So as you can see I'm going in with the white Caran d'Ache Luminance colour pencil and as you can see I tried to give her quite a cool skin tone because I thought it really complement her pink hair really well. However if I was doing a warmer skin tone I would have used more of a cream or like a primrose colour instead of this white to blend out the skin to keep some of that warmth into the skin. However, because it's a cool skin tone, I use white to blend it out. And when I'm blending, I'm going over the whole of the skin tone with the white pencil and I'm applying quite a bit of pressure to it. And I kind of do this with circular motions to help blend it all in together without it looking like there's lines or streaks so it gives a smoother kind of skin tone finish. And then once I've done that, I go and glaze over with those warmer colours to bring a bit more vibrancy back into the skin and give it more of a healthy glow. And I go in and I glaze some of those colours to create shadows around her nose and just contour her face a bit more. So as you can see, the paper is still taking those additional layers of colours really, really well. And it's really nice because it doesn't mess up the smoothness that you did before. So I tend to use the side of the pencil lead instead of using it straight onto the paper because it really helps maintain that smooth look that you tried to get with that white colour pencil.
Okay, so now I'm moving on to the eyebrows and I noticed in Monique's drawing that they had a lot of pinkish undertones to them as well as the browns. So I tried to replicate that by using some burnt siennas and browns but also some of the light burnt siennas which kind of were a bit more pinkish which helped really well to create that nice eyebrow tone that Monique used. So now I'm just going and I'm just perfecting the skin and adding a few little details and then I'm just going in and I'm adding her nose studs and her jewellery so her ear stretches and stuff like that. Okay so now I'm starting with the hair and I'm using quite a darkish purpley pinkish kind of colour to block out where the direction of the hair is going to flow. So I'm doing most of that colour in the darker shadows and I'm just drawing the kind of motion and direction of the hair. And then I'm going in with my white colour pencil and I'm blending all this out so that I've got a nice first layer so it'll be really smooth and then I can go on top with all the colours. And it helped smooth out those lines so they weren't so harsh but you can still see the direction that the hair is going in. So then I go back in with that same colour pencil and use it to deepen those shadows. Then I'm going in with more of a bright pink colour and I'm glazing that over the top to create more of a tone and then I'm going in with more of a salmon kind of colour because in the picture her hair was pinkish but it also was a bit reddish at the same time. Okay then I'm using the Caran d'Ache blender that they give you with the set to just smooth over a bit more that hair before I go in and I just add some highlights with that white colour pencil. I am going to be going over with some white gouache on that hair to pull out some really nice highlights. Okay, now I'm moving on to the neckline and a bit of her apron. So because she was a coffee girl, I assume that because she'd be like waitressing that she might have an apron on. So I decided to do this like little apron bit leading into the necklace which was a bit like crocheted. So it created a really nice like little effect and I added a coffee mug because she's a coffee girl and works in a coffee shop and that's kind of the basis of a lot of her characters. So I thought I had to kind of include something like that to show that part because it's an important part of her character. So I added a cute little pink coffee mug and a bit of steam coming out of it on the end of her necklace. Now I'm going in with my white gel pen and I'm just using that to pull out some highlights. And when I'm dabbing my finger there, I'm using the white gouache and I put a bit on it and then I just dab my finger to kind of spread it out and it creates more of a nice glow to certain parts of the skin. So now I'm using that white gouache for some more of those stronger highlights and I'm using a bit of gel pen on the hair. Then I created a little sparkly effect on her coffee mug and then on the neck as well. And I put a few little sparkles into the hair. I really really enjoyed doing this piece, it was so fun and I'm really sad to let it go but I know it'll go to a really nice home and that Monique will really like it and really love it. So I was really happy to do it for her and I really hope she likes it and I'm so excited to see her unbox it and hang it up and everything so I can't wait for that. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to go and check out Monique's channel after you've watched this. And also, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my additional content. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.